Hello, and welcome back to another Code HS Python tutorial. Today, we're helping Tracy the Turtle draw four colorful triangles next to each other in the center of the canvas. By the end of this lesson, you'll know how to use for loops to repeat patterns efficiently, set different pen colors for each side of a shape, use angles to properly turn Tracy when drawing a triangle, and how to center your drawing on the y-axis. Before we begin, make sure you're watching this video in 1080p for the best clarity. Click the gear icon, select quality, and choose 1080p. If you need subtitles, turn on closed captions by clicking the CC button. To change the language, go to the gear icon, select subtitles, and pick your preferred language. Si prefieres subtítulos en español, haz clic en el botón C, C y selecciona Español en el menú de configuración. Let's try to understand the problem. Our goal is to draw four triangles in a row, making sure that one, each side has a different color, red, blue, and green. Two, that each side is 50 pixels long. Three, that the drawing is centered around the y-axis and four, that the pen size is set to five pixels for visibility. To accomplish this, we will create a function to draw a single triangle, and then we will call that function inside of a for loop so that the functions will run four times. And we will use a positioning command to center the drawing on the canvas. Now that we know what we need to do from a programming perspective, let's look at the geometry involved with this shape. Triangles are three-sided shapes, and each turn inside an equilateral triangle is 120 degrees. That means after drawing a side, Tracy must turn left 120 degrees before drawing the next side. To center the triangles, we want to move Crazy Tracy backward 100 pixels before starting since each triangle is 50 pixels wide, and two triangles should be on the left and two on the right. Tracy will move forward after each triangle. In the editor window, we'll need to set up the drawing speed and pen size, and let's set the speed too. Speed zero, no error, will set Tracy's speed to the fastest. Pen size five, will set the pen thickness to five pixels. Now we'll define the draw triangle function. Depth draw triangle, pen down, on we'll start drawing. Color, red. Ours will make the first side is red. Forward 50, R will move Tracy forward 50 pixels. Left 120, we'll turn left 120 degrees. Color, blue. Ours will make the second side blue forward 50. We'll move. Tracy, forward 50 pixels. Left 120, we'll turn Tracy. Left 120 degrees for the second side of the triangle. Color, green. We'll make the third side green. Forward 50. We'll move Tracy forward 50 pixels left open, parenthesis 1, 2. Zero, close parenthesis, hash, will. Complete the triangle. Pen up, close parenthesis. Lift the pen. Forward open parenthesis. Five, zero, close parenthesis. Move to the next triangle position. This function draws one triangle with each side in a different color. Left 120 ensures the correct angle for an equilateral triangle, and the pen moves forward 50 pixels after drawing, so the next triangle doesn't overlap. Now we need to position Tracy before drawing the triangles. Pen up. We'll lift the pen up. Backward 100. We'll move back to center the triangles. Again, since each triangle is 50 pixels wide, we move backward 100 pixels. So two triangles are on the left and two on the right. Now we'll call the draw triangle function into a for loop. For i in range four, we'll run the loop four times. Draw triangle. We'll call the function we created earlier. Make sure you indent it. So the loop runs four times, calling draw triangle each time. So rather than repeating code manually, we automate the process with a loop 
Doing so keeps our code short and efficient. Now run your program and watch Tracy draw the four triangles. If something isn't right, check for these common errors, spelling mistakes in color, or function names. Also, incorrect angles may trigger arrows, but you can see that image being created is not the image in the example. Make sure you're turning left 120 degrees inside the triangle by using the left 120 command. Some students encounter positioning issues. Ensure you move backward 100 pixels before starting. And lastly, make sure you're indenting the code, following the defining of a function, and following the loop. So to wrap this up, today, we helped Tracy create four tri-colored triangles by using functions to simplify repetitive tasks, using for loops to repeat actions efficiently, using angles to ensure the correct turns, and we use positioning to properly align the shapes. Awesome work. Make sure you save and submit your code. Make sure you like and subscribe to stay updated on more Code HS tutorials. Share your code with classmates to help each other learn. Have questions? Shoot me a message in Microsoft Teams. Keep coding, and I'll see you all in the next lesson.